Hello dear Taurus, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. This is your February 1st till the 15th, 2019. Now today is the 5th of February and I have been ill so I haven't been able to get these readings up on time. Um, yeah, it's been really, really hot here in Sydney and you know, hot, cold, hot, cold, air conditioning, just like it's been freezing in, um, in the US, it's been the total opposite here in, um, in the land down under. So, yeah, you know, you don't get sick in winter, but you get sick in summer. Yeah, sometimes that happens too. Um, let's see what's going on. Love in general, always, um, always know that I will get your readings up whether they're late or not. Um, it's really that I would never do that, like miss your readings. So it's funny that I was just doing Virgo and um, they had the King of Wands exactly there. Wow. <laughs> Wow, okay, the cards are flying out literally. I didn't even get to cut them. So, Taurus, I wanted to say something. What was it? Um, yes, I wanted to say that I will be doing extra readings for Valentine's Day. So, each, for each and every sign. So, look out for those in the next few days. Let's take your... The last card, the outcome card. The outcome card is the Queen of Swords. Wow, look at that. Okay. Now, the Taurus, King of Wands is a fire sign. So Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Or you may have strong Aries in your chart. Now, Aries it could be any fire sign that you've got strong in your chart. Now, this could be someone that you are dealing with. Um, in the now position is the King of Wands, who's someone who's very spontaneous, a business leader. He's looking straight at love. So in the recent past, it looks as though something could have begun, whether this was a new romantic you know, love offer, or something happened which brought you a lot of um, a lot of happiness. For some of you, I, I really do believe that you may have met someone that you feel is worth going all the way, all the way where, all the way to the church. You feel as though because this is in your foundation and this is what you are trying to build on. The Hierophant can speak of family, tradition, marriage, commitment. Even though it's a tough energy because it's a number five. Now this is your card. This is the card of Taurus. This could also speak of religious structures, your faith, your belief system maybe maybe you are trying to build on something that will be long lasting because the hierophant can speak of something that is strong you know there are um, roots deep roots here now because the hierophant is a number five which brings in hardship um, nevertheless on the positive side it can speak of as i said you know, deep roots, deeply rooted. This could be your family conditioning. This could be anything like that. The way you've grown in the environment that you've grown, even your religion. So just looking at, you know, the uh, horizontal line, we've got the fool, which is on your mind. You're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to begin something brand new. You're seriously thinking of committing. Now, you could be dealing with someone, as I said, who's got 
either Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising. Now we've also got the Ace of Cups which is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So either sign doesn't really matter. The fact is that the King of Wands is seriously looking at continuing on something that they've started in the past. Now, as I said, the Ace of Cups can be just something that you are beginning. It could even be this is business. You've started a new project. You're taking a risk. You're going on a new journey. You're not taking a whole lot with you. It's as though you're like putting down that heavy baggage, whatever you've been carrying, whatever you've been carrying that's been weighing you down. And this could be just, you know, this could be your energy at the spur of the moment. You're going on a new journey and this can be a little literal movement. It can be. It can even be moving house or going to visit some place that's where there is a lot of sunshine. You might be just taking off and going to somewhere, somewhere that you've always wanted to go to because you're showing up as the King of Wands. And this is the King of Wands is, you know, he's the leader. He's very passionate. He gets up and he, he goes. He he's driven by his uh, by his passion, by his needs. You know, it's like, you know, you, you're the bull. You see red. When you see red, oh boy, get out of the way. Don't stop a bull <laughs> when, they, when they see red. So I feel as though there is, there is some sort of uh, a hold back because of the Hierophant. I feel as though you're ready, you're on the ball and ready to move. I feel as though you've been held back with the energy of the Hierophant. Now this could be even work, a corporate situation, a corporate company that you're working for. And here we've got the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords um, could be Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. We are at the time of Aquarius. The Sun is in Aquarius when I'm doing your reading. And Mercury just moved over the Sun. So you know, information is coming to light, truths are coming to light. Now the Queen of Swords is someone who is totally the opposite, the opposite energies. Look at the difference between these two people. Some of you may have met someone in the past. It could be someone coming back from your past, someone that you've known from your past, which and that's where your focus is, I see. And you may be just changing things up in the near future. And when I say changing things up, you could be speaking your truth. You could be um, not looking things from a passionate uh, way and not looking at your desires, but you're actually doing the math here. You're adding up the math and you're saying, this equals that. Now the Queen of Swords could be cutting someone or something out. Now some of you could be just speaking your truth. You know, if you're up and going on a holiday, you're just dropping everything and going on a an adventure. And, you know, that's what Jupiter in Sagittarius is all about. It's going on an adventure. Whatever the, the adventure is, the Fool is a brand new um, karmic cycle. This is what's on your mind. And there's no stopping you. That's what I feel. Let's look at and the full is the energy of Aries. And Aries is where Uranus is almost finishing up in. And you know that Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, will be moving very soon into your um, into your sign and that's going to you know that speaks of radical change changing things up coming up with an ingenious idea of moving forward you know you are the warrior here everyone is acting like a warrior with them with Mars being in Aries 
there is strong warrior energies first of all I'd like to see the Queen of Swords what's she all about some of you may be cutting a an air sign out of your life Libra Gemini Aquarius and we've got the page of cups here so now the page of cups is always a, an offer which is unexpected the page of cups can also be an apology um, that comes in out of the blue so the Queen of Swords, if this is someone that is quite stern in your life, now this could be anyone. Maybe she's waiting on an apology. That's why she's being so cold. Whoever this Queen of Swords is in your life. Um, now the Page of Cups can also be a, a, an adolescent child. It is a message though that's going to bring in the change. Let me take another card and see what this change is going to be. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles um, is my the card of Taurus for me. It's someone who's very careful with their heart, with their belongings. Um, and it's someone who's very careful with their their home, their foundation, their family and you know that this Queen of Swords will cut you if you try and break through her boundaries she will use that sword so if this is your energy here at all then you are just as I said you're adding up the math and you're not looking at a situation through your emotions now some of you, this could be a mother figure, I feel, if it's not your partner, it could be a mother figure who could be someone that can be quite harsh with their words um, and maybe there's been some sort of a distance where there could be a, an apology coming through either from the child to the mother and I suppose it could be from the mother to the child. Why not? Um, now, the Four of Pentacles is also someone who's very careful with their finances. So you are being, for those of you that are in business, you're being very careful, waiting on some sort of an offer. Maybe if there's been an offer that's been made to you, then you're holding on to that and trying financially to see if you can um, take on this offer and it's got something to do with your home and your stability so maybe you're not taking risks and you're moving very surely and steadily instead of you know acting spontaneously like the King of Wands I feel that the King of Wands here is more to do with something to do with an emotional offer of love a you know um, the the truth coming out about the true emotions of this King of Wands. Let me take another card on the King, and we've got the Page of Pentacles, another page. So yeah, it looks as though this King is wanting to grow on this Pentacle, wanting to. He could be sending out a message. A message of beginning beginning something that is going to stabilize because the Pentacles are always something that is uh, very uh, you know it's got great promise it's the it is the ace of Pentacles that is in his hands here in the pages hands so I believe that this is a message of stability let me look at the ace of cups and we've got the five of wands and fives always speak of change again so maybe some sort of a disagreement or you know maybe five people there could be five people involved here where they're trying to build on something trying to build on something that's going to bring much happiness if this is a family situation now if this is a business 
obviously something started, something has shown, you know, you have seen some success here. And it's been hard work because, you know, this is five people trying to build on something and fives always bring in the change. Let me take another card. And we've got the nine of pentacles. Now this is my Virgo card. Virgo is very meticulous, very slow moving. They look at the details. Um, now this energy, the nine of pentacles, wow, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, looking at the nine and the page, I feel that there is promise here and in relation to family matters, the family money, we've got nine and the tenth pentacle is coming through. So the nine also is, nine is the house of Sagittarius. You need to keep your beliefs. For those of you that have been um, on your own because of too much work, because of not enough time, because of family situations, I feel as though financially you're in a pretty good place right now and you're seriously thinking of, you know, it's time to be able to, you know, you've got all the comforts that you need, dear Taurus, here. You're actually thinking of probably building on a family, starting, starting your own family. Let's look at the full. And you know the house of Virgo is also the house of health as well as your daily routine. Um, I think that a lot of you are hoping to bring love into your daily routine. Some of you could be hoping to bring, to go and visit a loved one who could be at a distant place. Let's look at the full. And here is the Knight of Cups. Look at that. And this is you. Maybe there's been an offer of love from your partner to yourselves. Dear Taurus, and you're seriously thinking of taking up taking up the offer. Now, there is some sort of a severance though here. This Queen of Swords is really doing my head in. She's like sticking out. She's not in an even place here. So I'm going to take some Sabila's on her. I want to take one card on the Hierophant and I will go to the Sabilas. So yes, let's take the card. Wow, <laughs> the Empress. Virgo had the Empress exactly in the same position. So the Empress is a number three for those of you that are dealing with a Virgo, Virgo's readings uh, had threes all over the place. Um, here is another three, the Empress. Now the Empress is all about expansion and growth. She is uh, a beautiful energy, if this is an energy. through um, I would say that through your faith, your dedication, your patience and climbing that corporate ladder. Now this, if this is not a corporate uh, stairway, then this is the stairway to life, right? If you have been building and building and building um, your, on your life, on your career, on your foundation, the Empress comes in to bring you. And because the Hierophant many times can remind me of Saturnian energy because it's, you know, you've got to do things by the book. That's what Saturn is, where you've got to do things right. Otherwise, you know, it just doesn't work. And, um, you know, your, your, your ruler Venus has just moved into Capricorn and that's, you know, she's coming up to Saturn very soon. And Venus has got to put in the hard work. But when we do put in the hard work, we reap the rewards. So this Empress needs to carry this baby, this literal seed for nine months. Usually I see her as a three-month pregnant woman. So she needs the patience and the endurance and 
you know, carry to carry that load for some time before she can actually hold the rewards in her arms. So for some of you, it could be within six months that you're getting to the energy of the Hierophant where you are, your faith will help you get through whatever situation is going on with you here. The Empress could be someone who you see as very beautiful in your life. This is marriage material. This is obviously, I call this card the Taurus Libra uh, card because usually um, in most of the decks we've got the Venus sign, the glyph of Venus, and Venus is Venus rules Taurus and Libra, and Libra is the partnership house, relationship house, and Taurus is values and beauty and comforts and you know anything that we value. So the Empress is receiving the harvest. If you've kept the faith and you're putting you've put in the hard work with the Empress here, this is motherhood now. For some of you, this can be a literal pregnancy. But let's look at this Queen of Swords, who this could be someone in your life that you're not that either you're not letting go for uh, whatever reason, and children could be the reason here. We've got the Page of Cups, or she's not, and it could be a he, doesn't really matter. She's not letting go because I've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords with their backs to each other. So they're very different energies, as I said before. She could be holding on for dear life because of financial security. Let's take three Sibylas here. And we've got Falsita, which could mean deception. Okay, deception around your home. This is a four. Lack of trust. There's the child, which is a blessing. And it's a number seven. It's the divine number. And here we've got the Prigione. What was I just saying? This is the devil energy. This is Capricorn. So what... I was just saying that this Queen of Swords could be someone that either you're not letting go of or she's not, she or he, they're not letting go of you because of security, because of children, okay? Capricorn is where Pluto and Saturn are. You've got to put in the hard work, stand in your integrity because if you don't, that sword, and that goes for each person involved here, not just for you. Let's take this card that fell out and we've got the delirante. You're delirious and you really don't know what to do here, I feel. I'm going to take one more, one more tarot card. Now you've got the support of family and friends here. You've got the inkling that there is something new happening here, but you've got chains that are holding you back. And we've got the chariot. You're breaking those chains, I told you. This is Cancerian energy. This is where the North Node is. You are moving forward and the Divine is going to help you do that. This is a number seven. You're overcoming any obstacles that are in your way. You're in the driver's seat. Take those reins and go. In whichever way that speaks to you. Dear Taurus. Love is coming in for you. Now, you're taking a chance on love. You are seriously taking a chance on love or anything that you love to do. Now, in the foundation with the Hierophant and the Empress, there is great promise here. Let me just take a three Sibyllas on that crowning position. And then I will take an angel answer. So start to think of your question. Now we've got pleasant conversations around a table 
with co-workers, family, friends. This is like the Ace of Cups. Now some of you could be having those pleasant conversations with a love uh, potential um, at work. Here we've got Constanza. Wow, this is like the Ten of Cups. So this speaks of Europe. Now either some of you are traveling to Europe or you're traveling from Europe. Okay. And we've also got the Gran Signore. So this is the King of Hearts. That's what I call him. Which also points to Scorpio energy. This is a number 13. So number 13 breaks down to a 4. There's that love offer that's coming through. Now this is the, you know, this is the King of Hearts. As I say, it's like the King of Cups. Many times I see this as your energy, the King of Pentacles, because he's very abundant. He's, you know, from a high societal family, you know, they're blue-blooded, they're well off, he's the leader, he's the boss, and he's going to stand strong. Now, he can speak of ego as well, but also generosity. So this King of Hearts could be generous, generously offering their heart and this can go either this is your energy or this is the person that you're dealing with. It is a general reading so whatever else this means, it means that there is transformation. If there's been a holding back on finances or on anything to do with the House of Scorpio, death and transformation, shared resources, there will be a change. Okay, let's take an angel answer and see if I can answer your question for you. So, one thing I need you to believe, dear Taurus, and that is in the uh, belief, the strength, of our beliefs that's what I want to say that if you believe strongly that you deserve to have happiness in your life you will have happiness in your life these the um, power of positive thinking and believing in your your um, abilities and your empowerment can only bring you good are you ready I hope so okay well there's two cards here no I'm not taking that one those two I want one card please spirit guides and angels one card for Taurus please answer as many questions as you can thank you and we've got yes but there's no exclamation mark there's one more yes with an exclamation mark so Let's see. I'd love to hear your comments on if that was the right answer for you. So the answer to your question is yes. If you want a more detailed reply to your inquiry, you can ask additional questions and pull more cards. All right, that means I'm going to take one more card. One more card. One more card because there's a few of you out there and the book said to take another card so let's go if you believe Taurus what did I just tell you it's amazing how these how these things happen and you've seen it for yourself so when I say you need to believe you need to believe can't find the uh, <laughs> let's read what you need right now is faith well you can have what you desire but you must believe that it can be so stay positive and visual <sighs> oh I can't even read it I can't stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook 
the law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams. Taurus, it's all in your hands. Thank you so much for being here, for liking, sharing and subscribing. Um, look out for those Valentine's Day love readings, sending you lots of love, lots of positive energy, dear Taurus. Um, stay well. Talk to you very soon in the next few days. Happy New Moon. Bye.